Pastor George Borgarda, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Whose Lent is it anyway? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. If you like the Lenten videos from Higher Things, then go ahead and hit the like button on YouTube, or... Uh, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to donate, go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Help these videos continue to be available for you. Uh, so you washed your face. Uh, you had an ashy Wednesday. Uh, you contemplated your death. Dust you are, and to dust you shall return. And today, the question, whose Lent is it anyway? Is it your Lent, your sacrifice, your fast, uh, the time in which God beats you over the head with the law and makes you the Lutheran or the Christian that you've always wanted to be, solemn, pious, what a sinner I am, what a sinner I am. Uh, is it all about your self-improvement fast? Uh, you gave up the fried foods that you shouldn't have been eating anyway. Uh, cut your red meat consumption back to only Sunday and uh, did the things uh, that were necessary to improve your character. Uh, less caffeine. Um, maybe you uh, are going to be a little bit uh, kinder to those around you. Or maybe a random act of kindness every day. If that's your Lent, if that's what your Lent is, if it's your Lent... Uh, then what you get from your Lent will be all there is. Uh, that good feeling that you have done something good in the Lenten season, or the weight that you've lost, skin of your face, you know. And it's nothing, there's something wrong with, with fasting. Fasting's good for you, as we uh, discussed in earlier uh, Higher Things videos this Lenten season. Uh, but that's not Lent for you. The best Lent, the surest Lent, the most gospelly Lent, the Lent that's not of the law but of the gospel is a Lent that is Jesus' Lent. He, for you, um, on his way to the cross, he, for you, faithful, he, for you, obedient unto death, even death on the cross, he, taking on your sins um, and living the life you should live before God and then dying your, the death you deserve, he, suffering, not you suffering, he, fasting, not you fasting, Jesus, dying, and you dying with him in the waters of your baptism. Jesus rising from the grave, and you too, in word and water and in his body and blood given for you to eat and drink. Lent that's all about you ends in you, but that's not your Lent this season. In fact, die to that Lent this Lenten season and fix your eyes on Jesus. He is headed to the cross. He is the author and perfecter of your faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Nothing against fasting or other bodily preparation. Nothing against giving things up for Lent. You're free to do that. Free not to as well. Uh, but the best Lent, the most sure Lent, and the best Lent for your neighbor, another video short, will be the Lent that's Jesus' Lent. He does my Lent. And so the answer is, whose Lent is it anyway? It's my dear Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to go to Good Friday for me, and I am going with him. He's going to die. I'll die with him to my sins. And he's going to raise from the dead. And I rose with him in the waters of my baptism. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. Thanks for the Christmas gift, the birthday gift. What a great gift. And this has been another Higher Things video short.